Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life, and this is Lesson 3, Part 3 of Miss McLeod's Reel. We're going to be talking about our chords, and this is not difficult. We have, we're going to play D, G, and A, and uh, I'll, I'm going to give you some clues. It'll, it'll start with D. If you're anticipating, normally it would go to G, but it's going to go from D to A to D to G to D. So that's a little different. But instead of just listening for chord changes, what I want you to do instead is I want you to listen to the melody line of each phrase. If you listen to the melody line of each phrase, we're going to see we're going to be breaking this down. What you're going to hear is in the very first phrase, the chord will remain the same. It'll be a D. You'll hear the second phrase. It will also be a D, but the end of the phrase will turn to an A. The third phrase is going to be all Ds. Your last phrase is going to be G, A. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through this. We're going to go through the whole song, not just the verse. We're going to do the verse and the chorus. What I want you to listen to, again, in the, in the chorus, you're going to hear D. Then you're going to, it's going to be the same progression. It'll start with D and then go to A. Then it's going to go to, to um, D, to G, and then back to A. So, Listen, listen for this as we do it. Um, it's going to be, it's not going to be hard. So what I'm going to do the first time that we go through this, it'll go through three times. I'm going to strum just at the beginning of each phrase and where it might change in the phrase. So in the first phrase, this is what you're going to hear. In the second phrase, you're going to hear this. In the third phrase, you're going to hear just this. And in the last phrase, you'll hear this. So what I want you to try to do is listen. You don't even have to play right now if you don't want to. Just listen and watch where each phrase, the chords change. When I play through it the second time, I will probably strum it more so. And then same with the third time. So we're going to try this. This is going to be nice and slow. You're going to have a four beat count in. You will hear the two pickup notes and then you would start playing your D chord. That's your first phrase. Here's your second phrase. And then it goes to A, back to D. Your third phrase is just D. And you're going to play G, D, repeat, D. Here's your second phrase, D, A, D. It's going to be all D for that phrase. And you're going to hear G for the last. Here's your chorus, D. That's your first phrase. Now here's your second phrase. If you notice, it's just like the verse. Third phrase is just D. Here's your last phrase. G, A. It's identical to the verse. I'm strumming twice now. Sorry about that. D. Third phrase, here's your last. Here's your second phrase. Third phrase, same as the first.
That's your first phrase. Here's your second phrase. Here's your third phrase, which is D. Here's your last phrase, G, A, second phrase. Here's your third phrase. Here's your fourth. Second phrase. Third phrase. Your fourth phrase. Is the chorus. First phrase, second phrase. A. Third phrase, D. And then here's your last phrase. second phrase. Here's your last phrase. So, I don't know if that helped not. I think it, I think it does. You're breaking it down by the phrase. Your first phrase is simply D. Your second phrase is D, A. Your third phrase is D. Your last phrase is G, A. And then back to D. Your chorus is identical to the verse as far as the chord changes. So I really, really think if you think of it this way, instead of just trying to play through the song and just listen to all the chord changes, which you can do with your voice, that understanding how you're breaking this down a little bit at a time and learning the chords just for like the, say the first phrase and then the second phrase, then the third phrase, then the fourth phrase, and your chorus is gonna repeat exactly the same. So we're gonna do it again and uh, play with me. And uh, I'm just gonna go strum, 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 four beats uh, per measure and uh, I'll call out the chords as we go, at least the first time through, and then uh, I'll play it all the way through with you, and then I'll give you a practice track of your own. So here we go. Four beats. Two, three, four. <laughs> I'll actually do that next time. I'm going to buy the phrase right now.
So I really think that should help. And honestly, I, I try to get people to leave comments. I'm asking you to leave comments in this case. I want to know if this particular way of teaching the chords is helpful to you. In other words, instead of playing it through the song, but playing it through phrase by phrase and hearing the chords per phrase of the tune. So we are going to give you now your own practice track. It's going to be this speed. Uh, you can use this track to do your melody, although you already had that. So you might want to just focus on playing your backup chords. And uh, we're going to just give you the four beats to come in on. And this is going to be all for you. I'm going to bid you adieu at this point. I do want to thank my patrons for their help, for their support. To anyone who might consider becoming a patron, investing in your own learning process, at the same time supporting this work. If you're learning from these lessons, uh, I would ask that you would consider supporting uh, your own learning process. It would be a great help to us to keep these lessons free and to keep this program going and to help you learn better as well. So thank you, patrons. Here you go. Have fun with this. 4B count in. Here we go. One, two, three, four.